is Ruel's Running Podcast, a podcast about running, health, family, play, and an NSNG lifestyle. And now, here's your host, Ruel. Excuse me as I rock on. That's Went Away by Dorothy Lane. Dorothy Lane out of Martinez, California. That's out of the Cut and Dry album. Check them out at DorothyLaneMusic.com. Yeah. Hello. Welcome to another episode of the podcast. This is your host, Ruel Abadam. How are you doing? I am doing as good as I can be, and I hope you are doing better than as good as you can be as well, uh, how you have been. Every day is another opportunity to be better. So yeah, hope, um, what's going on? Um, I think on this episode I want to cover just a few things. Nothing important. There's nothing really important going on in, the, in this podcast to begin with. So if you are a new listener, you can tune out. If you are a return listener, you can tune out as well. Do I want you to tune out? I don't know. But if you're not tuning out, I really appreciate you sticking around and uh, just being a part of this uh, this um, this uh, large, vast community of uh, Ruel's Running Podcast listening fandom. Ninja, soldier, warrior, zers. Like that. That's what y'all are. Um, so real quick, just so that I know on the top, of, uh, I can just sort of bookmark what's in my brain. We're talking about uh, standing rib roast. We're talking about leftovers. We are talking about... Um, um, blood pressure monitors. We're talking about, um, um, I want to say, uh, morning prehypertension. Um, what else? Talking about, uh, teaching a child to ride a bicycle without training wheels. What else? Um, I accidentally drank more of the, I actually, I accidentally drank half of the Fanta. I understand. Uh, then For some that, reason, that, I kind of get that. That's it. fine. You know, whenever sugar hits your tongue, it just hijacks your your senses, and that's very that's a that's a very seldom thing that you get I'm to. Very ashamed of myself. Yes, that, that I've um, it's just time to move on. You know, yes, you've you've committed a um, something very very uh, unusual, uncharacteristic. Uncharacteristic of yourself. I'm gonna go uh, take a drink. You're going to take a drink of water, but it's more importantly, you move on, don't dwell on it, and just make better choices down the road. Because that leads me to the other thing that I want to talk about, and that's um, um, getting in shape. Um, being out of shape, getting in shape around this time, and some of the things that uh, I've been able to do to try and get back spring back from uh, a level of unfit and unhealth um, just when I felt like uh, I was doing well you know with the gym and all of this and all this momentum this whole shelter in place things not just put you keep you indoors but it does kind of throw a wrench on everybody's life so yeah so that's the bookmark and I'll be right back <laughs> I'm back. So, uh, if I can remember, let's see. Talking about <clears throat> getting in shape, riding a bike, and uh, and uh, uh, hypertension, blood pressure, blah blah blah. So recently, <clears throat> I picked up uh, via Amazon order using a uh, health savings um, uh, HSA FSA sort of uh, funding. <clears throat> I picked up a blood pressure monitor from the good folks at uh, what something good something or other. 
<laughs> from the good folks at good folks, I, I want to say, but I know that's not correct. Um, so why, why do I do that? Why did I do that? Uh, well, um, there had been mornings where I would just lay in bed. You know, I'd, like I'd wake up for some reason. Maybe I need to take a leak or I need to actually, you know, whether whether or not I, I, I went to actually do it or just kind of hold on, held on to it. Uh, uh, it didn't matter. Just I would be awake and I'd be laying in bed and I would, and I would, uh, and I would feel this little spot behind my ear, my left ear, this pulsing, you know. And, uh, I'm like, that's annoying. And, uh, I wondered, oh, what the heck, what the heck is that? You know, and then there were other, other times where I would be in bed and I would be laying down and I could feel a, a pulsing, like a little spot. Was it like, I don't know, like maybe it's a little vein or blood vessel or something, just pulsing, you know? And I knew, and then, I, and, and I know that it's, can't be like a muscle spasm because, you know, I don't have a six pack on my cranium. Um, I figured it was, you know, it was pulsing, so it had it, it, it correlated to things sort of blood, <laughs> right? <laughs> and uh, so, I, off and on, I would experience it, and I would wonder what the heck it was. And then there were other times where I just, and it wasn't there, which is fine, right? Um, then at some point, it dawned on me that maybe it's blood pressure related, and. Whether or not that's true, I mean, there is a thing uh, called morning hypertension. So, you know, maybe, you know, I was in a state of high blood pressure at that, uh, on those mornings or those moments where I was laying in bed and, and, and the, uh, the pulsing spot in my head was a, uh, was an indication of that. So, you know. I've only done a couple of uh, readings and my blood pressure's fine. So, you know, what it'll be interesting is now that I have the the monitor is if ever I've uh, experienced that sensation again, I'd be able to just um, check myself, monitor myself. Um, so that's what that's about, you know, and. Um, yeah, we'll see. It's just another gadget to play with. It's uh it's a, it's a Bluetooth monitor, so the device itself uh records does the reading um and it also transmits to uh an app. So that's that. Um you know, I am you know, I am unfortunately out of shape, you know, and uh might have mentioned earlier that you know I had my wife and I had joined a gym and we were really flowing and I was actually getting in getting in shape and I believe that you know the I got in good enough shape to actually have completed the uh, the Lake Chabot and things were great and um, but this whole shelter in place you know, has thrown everybody off, it's thrown us off, you know, um, n- not living as healthy as we once were, you know, staying indoors most of the time, um, not get- getting as much uh, physical activity as um, I used to. Um, so, you know, I'm trying to figure out um, something else to compensate. my. You know, we we've done workouts um, following instruction online. You know, the the gym has provided short workouts via private Facebook group and Instagram uh, videos and things. So um, that's that. But you know, we, we're we are now ste- stepping it up. The gym is uh, is making it making live streams a regular thing more uh more lengthier workouts so in lieu of having to go into the physical location and working out um it would just be signing up for the live session you know we will reactivate our accounts and uh 
go that way. The only difference I'd see is that I won't get the treadmill work or we won't get the treadmill work that we that we um, ordinarily did, had gotten, you know? Um, so typically what they do is they, they, they throw in some other sort of exercises to to uh, replace the the running, you know, they do things like jumping jacks and and other movements, and uh, that's fine. Um, you know, it's um, I had been doing these these in home workouts, and the cool thing is that I've I've built I've been building up strength that I ordinarily wouldn't have at the gym, um, because you know the only set of weights that I have at home are. <laughs> Are, are are heavier than what's at the gym or what I what I typically grab at the gym, so um, it's cool. Um, and more recently, I started uh, doing things outside of these online workouts. I would just go into the garage and you know I would work on the double ended speed bag, or I would shadow box with a uh, with the gloves on to add a little weight. You know I'd get on the bike and spin a bit. Um, and, uh, also, you know, bring back the jump rope. So, um, I'm, you know, just trying to add more activity and not be tied down to any sort of uh, online video or a live stream schedule. It's wherever I can fit it. Um, try and get it done, even if it's going to be 15, 20 minutes. Um, so we'll see how that works, how that goes. It's a challenge, man. I'm, you know, I've uh, I've lost weight. I've put on weight, and and I and I'm not paying attention too much to determine whether or not, you know, muscle has, is a factor in there. But definitely, what I really care about is how my clothes fit, and my clothes don't fit the way that I want them to fit. It's uh, it's a shame, but it is what it is, and I just need to do what I need to do to to fix that. You know, it's a it's a problem when when your fat jeans are no longer fat jeans and they've become kind of snug right so that's uh that that that, uh there needs to be something there that needs to be done um aside from that you know there's other activities that get to do with the kids outside of coursework you know we'll we'll take the we'll take the bikes out and we'll ride a we'll ride a a trail or around the neighborhood you know trails and paths that connect connect several uh, neighborhoods together. Um, so, you know, depending on who's on the for the ride, if it's just me and the older the older boy, you know, we're going further along and exploring farther out. If it's with uh, the younger ones, then we're sort of limiting it to around uh, the street or uh, the nearby creek and back. Or sometimes it's uh, it's a uh, it's a couple of rides with our older one. Like my wife and my older one will go and do a certain route. They'll come back. My wife would have gotten her her workout on the bike, and then I would go out again. I would go out with my son, who would go for a second round, and we would go further out. So I would I would really test him on the bike. Um, but he he really digs uh, the time out on the bike and exploring other other neighborhoods. So yeah. So apparently. Um, starting in the new week, we're in the middle of a weekend, it's a Saturday, um, it's mandatory in our county to, uh, to have masks, a mask and, uh, I I think even gloves, but at least mask, but, um, we're stepping it up. My wife picked up also face shields a while back, so breaking those out as well, so it'll be more freakier outside with a mask and gloves and a face shield but gotta do what we gotta do I'm out and about I gotta actually pick up a, a list of things from the grocery and then pick up lunch uh, for takeout so that's that uh, be right back do you need a website if you're an individual a consultant a group or small business and need a site or maybe you have an existing site I can help How about graphic design? Do you need need a design for a t-shirt, logo, product, business cards? You know, maybe you need help with designing and developing a brand. I'm not an expert, but I do have the tools 
and the techniques to get the job done, how about a podcast? Yep, like this thing. This thing's a silly little show. Um, do you Are you looking to set up a podcast of your own? Are you looking to reach an audience? Uh, promote your business via podcast? Well, Abadam Studios. That's right, Abadam Studios. Yeah, so that's Abadam Studios. Abadamstudios.com, A-B-A-D-A-M-S-T-U-D-I-O-S.com. Check it out. I'm back. I got mostly what I needed, some extra stuff, and didn't find two of the things on the list. Um, boo-hoo, boo-hoo. Um, so yeah, I was talking about how um, the family would take these bike rides as, uh, as an act- outdoor activity. And uh, sometimes it's just a matter of uh, us pulling a vehicle out of the garage and clearing out the garage and uh, just giving giving the uh, the family that extra space to to be outside I mean the garage itself isn't outside but if you if you open it up you clear it out you know there's that option for the kids to be uh, be in a covered sort of environment but still catch some fresh air um, you know there's, a, there's enough room for the kids to goof around with uh, hoverboards and skateboards and things like that. And it's also a, a way to switch things up for my wife and I as, we, as we've as we been continually uh, working from home. Um, just break out a, uh, a, full, a full, we'll unfold a, uh, you know, a, a, a picnic chair, whatever you want to call it. And... Uh, just work work from the garage um you know that way you know while the kids are out playing on the on the street on the driveway in the garage someone can keep an eye on them um <clears throat> so yeah it's uh, pretty cool my our uh, our our daughter has been practicing you know on her bicycle riding trying to get to a point where she can do two wheels with you know get without the training wheels tried once before <clears throat> by uh just completely stripping off the uh the training wheels and and uh that's actually a lot of work <laughs> uh so this time around um gave her the best of both setups you know i uh i was i managed to raise <clears throat> The training wheels, you know, initially, you know, the the, uh, the training wheels sort of uh, are uh, have this bracket, so it it prevents the training wheels from from uh, sort of rotating. You know, it keeps it locked in in place. But I just simply removed that bracket, and I could pull the training wheels back a bit, right, and give a little bit more clearance uh, between the, the ground and the training wheels and so now she's uh, able to fly you know still have a little bit of the training wheels but if she flies right if she flies right she actually balances on two wheels and she's, she's, she's enjoying that so she just needs to spend more time on that and pretty soon she'll uh, figure it out you know, and, and if she never figured it out, you know, if, if she just wasn't interested in riding two wheels, um, she's figured out riding two wheels on a hoverboard really easy. She does it like it's like it's natural, which is cool. Um, but I'm not worried. But it looks like she's making progress. Um, I may sneak in to the garage and... Uh, tweak the angle on the uh, pull them back even more so that it, it's, it's further away <laughs> and uh, and hopefully she won't notice um, and her her big brother is her, her her biggest brother is pretty good at it so he's he uh, he helps her along he runs along you know while she's uh, going up and down the road sometimes he'll use the hoverboard while she's uh Riding the bike. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So recently, um, 
the uh, we've been doing a bit of celebrating. It started yesterday. My wife has a birthday. Happy birthday to my to my wife. And uh, you know that stacking life into living on top of some really bad uh, choices with food. <laughs> so. It's it sort of put a stall. I've been doing the workouts, you know, and I've been uh, for for the majority of the duration of the, the majority of the day, I've been good. And then there's just these moments where it's like, okay, I guess I'm gonna have that, and I'm I'm and I'm and I'm not, and I'm not gonna feel guilty about it. I'm just gonna enjoy it. So yesterday, I mean, obviously we can't be out in a restaurant and celebrate anything like and anything like that. But uh, you know, we ordered uh, Japanese food food from. Uh, our favorite local Japanese spot, and um, we did that. That was good, and uh, we had picked up uh, a nine-inch fruit tart from Whole Foods as a birthday cake. And uh, in addition to that, uh, my wife had received a gift package uh, from the folks at Aud- Edible Arrangements, and it's it was basically eight chocolate covered strawberries and um four what looked like chocolate covered a white chocolate covered pineapple decorated with sprinkles and with with candles stuck in them for those so we're talking about 12 uh, little treats so you know um broke out the sparkler candles and set them set all of those treats on top of the the coffee table with the kids and gave each of the kids a a little uh, candy, a uh, little treat with a little candle on it, and put uh, a few. Um, we put a few uh, sparklers on the uh, the fruit tart, and uh, you know lit everything up, and that was how we did the whole birthday celebration. It's just an unusual time. I mean, to do a birthday celebration. It, no. We, every, every, we had um, we had some friends uh, on uh, FaceTime to to watch what was going on and you know and 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 participate that way. So that was uh, last night. Then we uh, <clears throat> we uh, rented a, a movie off of uh, iTunes or whatever, and uh, we set up. The, uh, the screen and the projector <clears throat> and streamed the uh, the movie onto the project through, through the projector in in a it had a, had a little bit of a movie night had the kids camp out with their uh, sleeping bags and we watched Trolls World Tour and uh, yeah it was fun it was nice did that then the, got up this morning you know and. Typically, when we celebrate birthdays, it's it's not just for that one day. It's it's for the week. May depending on how things go, we may even do it for the month. Who knows? But it's it's just sort of keeping uh, keeping things alive and enjoying as much as possible. You know, um, we got up in the morning and just because when you rent from iTunes, you get access to the, the the movie for a day, and since I rented it. Um, so, uh, last night, you know, it ain't gonna expire until tonight. So, turned it on again this morning. Had the kids watch it again. It's fun. It's a fun movie. It's a fun movie that, uh, <clears throat> you know, covers uh, different genres of music, and which is great. And if you know, if you're if you're of a certain age, there's a there's a bunch of songs there that. Uh, you're familiar with that you know the younger kids could uh, get exposed to there was one there was a uh, Brass Monkey Beastie Boys there was uh, um, something from Quiet Riot <laughs> Ozzy Osbourne and uh, he's, he's, he's a voice actor for one of the characters um, yeah um, Mary J. Blige you know, George Clinton. Um, yeah, I think it's cool. 
you know so the kids they start rocking out you know to some of the songs that are in the movie and then i'm like naming the artist you know and uh at some point you know i'll play the actual song have it stream on over the phone and then you know they can get that exposure huh <sighs> good stuff so we're gonna celebrate continue to celebrate birth the birthday i just picked up uh some takeout excuse me as i <coughs> woo. That's my, uh, my Ric Flair. <gasps> Woo! Um, yeah, we're gonna continue to celebrate, pick up some, some takeout, some Chinese, um, some dim sum, and yeah, more life into living it's gonna be. Um, oh well. And, um, then there's a couple of Zoom, it's a Saturday, but we've got a couple of Zoom, um, events happening today um if you guys haven't done this it's actually a great idea and it shouldn't have to be uh limited to you know shelter in place but now that more folks have been hopping on things like the google meetings and the zooms and things like like that um more folks are familiar with how to how to do it and what we've done is uh, we've set up a recurring, every Saturday at a certain time, a meeting with, we're calling it like the cousins, uh, the cousins, uh, a cousins meeting. So a cousins meetup. So uh, you know, my wife and her and uh, several of her cousins and their children and their spouses, they'll hop on Zoom when we do too. And, you know, we just get to hang out online with with everybody and sometimes we're all just sort of just being stupid and not really saying anything meaningful but everybody has an opportunity to see what folks are doing you know um you know some of the kids uh want to show and do a little bit of show and tell and uh yeah you know sometimes there's i mean for for, for today it's going to be uh birthday wishes for my wife and one thing that my wife had done ahead of time too was she mailed off uh care packages to each of the families and and um so on on the during the zoom call everyone's gonna get a chance everyone's gonna open up that package and we're gonna get to see their reaction and they're gonna get to share their reactions to others who are opening up their packages and things and so you know, just trying to be creative and stay connected. So if you haven't thought about it, and if you, you know, have folks that you'd like to hang out with, it doesn't have to be family, right? Friends, enemies, <laughs> rivals. Um, you know, set up set up some some regular scheduled time and and uh, you know do whatever. Sometimes I'm flashing food on the screen or raising a glass. Good times. Then uh, the other one is uh, is a Zoom sort of a, a dance, a hula, a hula workout. Because um, before all the shelter in place, um, was planning on having a get together at our home with um, with relatives and some friends. So just uh, an easy sort of barbecue, island barbecue style get together uh, to celebrate my wife's birthday and along the way um, make um, make a sort of a hula based workout uh, activity happen in the garage. You know, so I'd set up the garage with mirrors and things and 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 uh, a sound sort of set up and speakers and so that was that was the idea um the shelter in place kicked in and nobody knows when it was gonna be lifted so had to cancel that event and so in lieu of missing that event uh the activity in the event um we've set up a zoom a zoom session for for today and uh my wife's friend who's the instructor she's gonna just do what she does and 
all I did was uh, set up the uh, the Zoom link so that um, it could happen. Um, yeah, so those are the two Zoom sort of social events happening. Yeah, good times. Um, I uh, had something else on my, on my head. Something else on my head. Something else on my head. Yeah. I um, I guess that's it. That's it for now. I uh, want to wrap this thing up. Um, hope you guys um, got any got got some entertainment out of that sort of. It's, it's essentially an update. <laughs> <laughs> the only tip I had was, you know, whether it's in shelter in place or not, you know, tap into uh, tap into the uh, the video conferencing technology to, to schedule some regular time with people that you care to be around. Um, it it's actually cool, you know, waking up today and knowing that we we have that in place. You know, and if not everybody shows up, it's okay. Not everybody can show up. You know, we've got one, two, three got four other families and what makes it cool is if you if you if you if you have the luxury of of multiple devices when when we dial in or when we connect you know um i'll open up another device with uh, the zoom meeting on so that you know we're all not s- sort of cramming our faces into a into the same camera um i'll have like the kids in a different room so that the audio doesn't sort of interfere with each with it with it with multiple devices and uh, so the kids can do whatever they want they can make silly faces they can change the virtual background they could they could type comments in the comment section to, to be silly um, but but it gives them the opportunity to uh, participate in in the uh, this social gathering of cousins yeah so anyways that's the only thing meaningful what I thought of <laughs> So hopefully there's value in that. And uh, the rest of it is just junk. All right. I'm home. I've got to go. Catch you on the next one. Remember, friends, hug your friends, hug your family, eat something delicious, and run something. Bye. Thanks for listening to Ruel's Running Podcast with Ruel. If you like what you just heard, share it with your friends and your enemies. Also, be sure to check out the site over at ruelsrunning.com. This has been another Coffee with Heavy Cream production. Join us next time for another silly show of Ruel's Running Podcast. Yeah.